Hi, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator and in this video we are going to engrave some metal scissors and uh, yes you can really engrave in that metal. The second thing we are going to do is we are going to take a look in single line fonts for laser engraving because single line fonts are fun and you can really use them uh, especially if you are going to do things like engraving metal. And the third thing we are going to do is take a look in the new Air Assist uh, because I made a new Air Assist that will be compatible with all the AuthorMaster 2 machines. And uh, well, it doesn't matter if you got the 7 watt, the 15 watt, the 20 watt, or even one of the newer 30 or 40 watt machines. So let's dive into it. Here we are in Lightburn and when I go to text settings here and I type in some text like for example the word test uh, then you see that this text is uh, well it's, it's written in Lightburn and now we can start engrave it but if we go to the settings then we can see here that this is done in a fill mode and this means that uh, the laser is going to have multiple passes over this text before it's really engraved. Um, so let's take a look what happens if we are going to work with this text. So this is the place where the laser will try to, to make the text. Uh, here you can see it. And uh, well, if I press start now, you will see that it tries to burn the text uh, in line mode, or sorry, in, in a uh, line by line mode. And uh, therefore, it takes pretty long to print this text. It does a nice job though, but it takes pretty long. So here in the software we can do some tweaking and then we can go to this fill mode which is now on fill and we can put it in the line mode. Now what happens is that now the outline is selected and as you see this means that there is a, yeah, a line around all the text and this is going to be printed. Now let's make a copy of this and print it above the other text. As you can see I can now change the settings for the blue text or the new text that we made. Um, so I'm going again here to 2100. That's the speed I'm going to use. 50% uh, of the power and uh, well it only has to do one pass. So then this is in line mode and to be very clear the other one, the black one, that was in fill mode. But we are not going to output this, I'm going to show it here in the software, but we are not going to output it on the laser because I want to show you in the laser what happens. Now, as you could see, this was way quicker than the first print. Uh, the first print was filled with uh, yeah, complete black and now we only painted the outlines. But now it's a double outline and what do I mean with a double outline? Well, what I mean with it is that if you take a look here, you can see that the test text that we printed, well, it's, it's a bit strange. Uh, it's only outlined, uh, but it's hollow. There is an opening in the middle. And wouldn't it be nice if we were able to only print the text in a single line? Well, this is possible and I'm going to show you how you can do that. So I'm going to search for SHX fonts. like this 
And then I will find uh, several links, but this one in particular is the one that I chose. It's got 762 SHX AutoCAD funds. And when you click this link, then you will be brought to a forum and there there is a download and you can download these funds. There are way more results showing up. So you can find many, many more funds, but I took the first, yeah, the, the first big one that I could find over here. And uh, well, that helped me a lot. Then after I uh, downloaded these funds, and uh, unpack the zip file that I got into a certain map, I have to point to it in the software. So here I can go to the settings. This is of course again in Lightburn and under the edit tab there is the settings and in the settings there you can find uh, when you go to file settings there you can find where you uh, have your fonts installed and uh, well your default font is Arial uh, and here you got to set your SHX font path so when you click here on this button then you can uh, yeah you can show where you want to have your SHX fonts and for me because this machine is dedicated to the laser engraver I put it directly under Windows C <coughs> and then over here in the directory fonts. Now in my case, because this is my Windows PC, which is only for this laser engraver, I, I bought this machine for the laser engraver, as you can see in the video over there. Um, so I placed them in the directory fonts in my uh, in my C uh, drive and then when I pointed it to that font I can go over here and select my text so uh, I have to double click on it to select it like this and then I can go to the font type and I can select all kinds of fonts and as you can see there are some single line fonts now so over here, I've got this test, which is only a single line font. Now let's take a look what happens when we are going to burn this one. So now we take a look over the machine and I can talk to it directly. I'm going to put on my laser glasses because I don't want to be blinded by the laser. And then I'm going to press the play button. And well, you can see how fast this is going to draw the lines. And well, this is really very fast because it only draws a single line. And as you can see over here, this is just a single line and not that double line that we had over here. So this is way faster. Now, when are we going to use it? Well, for example, if you want to mark text into metal, for example, so that's what we are going to do next. Now, I think we all know the feeling how it is to search for your scissors. And uh, every time when I search for them, well, I think I know where to find them. And that's with my partner because uh, we have a lot of scissors in the house, but I don't know why she likes mine the best. And every time when I tell her that those are my scissors, she says, well, no, they are mine. And so let's put an end to it. And let's burn these scissors with my name in it. So here we are in Lightburn. And well, we are going to type my name. Uh, so we're going to text and then type. And I do it in capitals. My name over here. And uh, then I'm going to make it smaller and small. Oh, now it's upside down, smaller and smaller. And uh, well, it has to be way smaller, but it also has to be of a different type. So I want single line font like this font. And it's going to be smaller and smaller and smaller and the correct way upside down. Now, the best way to make it smaller, uh, how you would like it, is by just taking a look how big it can be in your scissors. So uh, where I want it, I think it can be about seven centimeters long, maybe yeah, six is better. So I take the length of this 
the width and I make it 60 millimeters and this is the size I am going to burn this into my scissors. Now also notice that uh, well these power settings over here well they're not good. I'm going to have to change it in uh, full power so 100% and uh, also I will need to be burning slow so I'm going to uh, 300, uh, 300 millimeters uh, is the, the speed I'm going to use per minute uh, and well this is rather slow maybe I can do it even slower I'm going to 100 millimeters per minute this really is slow but watch what happens because it's not going to be much so now it's going to try and burn in that metal and uh, well I can tell you right away nothing is happening here uh, it's not going to be powerful enough to engrave inside that metal. So we'll have to change something. Now what I'm going to change is that I'm going to use French mustard. Yeah, really, this is what I'm going to use. Uh, and it works really, really well. So let me show you. I take a bit of this mustard and I just pour a little bit on my finger like this and now I'm going to the machine and I'm going to put it on the scissors I leave the scissors at exactly the same place where they are because this is where it lined up and I'm going to rub in this mustard well here we go And it makes a dirty noise, a real dirty noise. And I can see it burn really black and deep and, and well, it doesn't smell too good as well. It's really dirty. It's clearly burning the mustard. So now when I took off these scissors from the bed, you can see I got them perfectly engraved over here and I hope the camera will focus on it. But it's nicely engraved into the metal. So this is what is possible with the Ortermaster 15 watt. Uh, with the simple 15 watt laser, I am now engraving directly into the metal of these scissors and actually it was only the mustard doing this because uh, this mustard was what I needed to get deep enough into the metal to make sure that I could engrave it yeah, like it is. So the line mode is really very very helpful when you are engraving things uh, like text into well in, into objects and uh, now we did it into metal because I wanted to show you that this laser is really capable of doing so uh, but of course also if you're engraving a comp or uh, anything else it doesn't matter what uh, then it's very helpful if you have a single line layer or a single line text and this is something that the Orter Master Machine well, it's really capable of. And now for the other big announcement, because I heard from some of you guys that, uh, well, the previous version of my Air Assist wasn't capable of homing on some machines. And uh, although I thought it was one of the best Air Assist you could ever get for the Orton Master 15 watt machine, or the Orton Master 2 15 watt machine, uh, well, this is even better, but it only works on the Orton Master 2 version. This is the new Air Assist. Now, as you can see, I just changed the plate. So there is no ring around it anymore. There is no clamping uh, of an Air Assist on the sides of the laser tube. 
uh, the whole laser tube is now mounted to a new backplate and that new backplate that's the complete air assist module so an air hose is coming in from the top it's brought in about here and this whole part here is a chamber an air chamber so the inside of the plate is now the air chamber and uh, underneath that air chamber the air will come out uh, here on the nozzle so this really is a new type of air assist that I made. Uh, it now works perfectly with all the Ortomaster 2 machines. Uh, no matter if you have a 7, 15 or 20 watt machine. Or even if you have converted it with a 30 or 40 watt laser. Uh, it will work just fine on this plate. So uh, this is actually a far better plate to use as an air assist it works the same way as the previous one so there is a screw in nozzle at the bottom uh, it's just a 3d printer nozzle like the e3d uh, v6 type nozzles uh, it's a nozzle that has a six millimeter thread which goes inside the print and uh, well it's not finished yet i'm experimenting with it but uh, well this must be one of the best air assists ever because uh, you don't have to mount anything to your laser anymore all the air is coming through this pipe here and it's brought in here at the top of your air assist so this is the new way of doing it uh, this file will be available very soon and there will also be a special video about it now i really hope you liked the video so far so we discussed uh, how you can engrave on metal, how you can best choose a one line font to do so. So there is a font that only uses one line and not the outline function that true type fun uh, fonts have. And uh, we also saw the new air assist that will be coming out very shortly after this video. So stay tuned to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Uh, well, to be the first to know about the new Air Assist, where you can download it and uh, well, how you can use it on your Ortomaster 2 machine. Thanks for watching, I will see you guys next time and well, see you later, bye bye!